Welcome back to River Talk 2.0. Over the last couple of days, we've uh, spent a little time with John Provost. Who's little Timmy from Lassie? Great show. <laughs> it's on all the time. All the time. All the time. Yeah. And, then, and then yesterday we learned that uh, we had met, but I was like a little teeny tiny tot, and, and he was busy signing autographs for girls, so it didn't really matter That's anyway. Right, I mean, who's that kid over there? Who's yeah. that kid over there with the bottle crying anyway? <laughs> But you know, yeah. of all the episodes, okay. of all the episodes, John, what what would you say would be your favorite episode of Lassie? Oh boy! Well, okay, we I did two hundred nine half hour episodes, and on any given day, we would be filming from up to three different episodes. So a lot of time, I didn't really know, you know what what the show, what the, that, that episode was about, because as a young kid, I didn't read the whole script. I just read what I needed to know for the next day. Right. But we did a three-parter, so three consecutive Sundays, you know, to be continued. Sure. And it was called The Odyssey. I remember. And it yeah. was about Lassie got stuck or got trapped in the back of a semi-trailer and was basically taken halfway across the country before they realized the dog was in the back. And then Lassie had to find, you know, her way home. Well, by the second episode, you know, we had searched for Lassie. We didn't have a clue. Long story short, you know, I thought Lassie was gone. And in the last episode, in the last couple minutes, I'm bearing Lassie's favorite toys. Wow. And then, it, and you know, I mean, it's really, really heavy. I'm starting to tear up now. <laughs> and then in the background, you hear the bark. And it gets a little louder. And Timmy starts looking. And then over the hill, way in the distance, here comes Lassie. And they have this big reunion and that's that's the one. That's the one that, that gets me the most. Oh, it's I, a I, real tearjerker. That was a tearjerker. It's almost as bad as when old Yeller got taken behind the barn and shot. I hated that. Oh my God! Let me oh, tell hey, you. wait a minute. Are you are you are you sitting down? Oh uh, yeah. Let me. I'm I'm down. Okay. Everybody, Red Weather Wax is known for Lassie, but old Yeller was also a Weather Wax dog. Oh no! Kidding. Get out of here. Yeah, oh, and wow. you all remember the Wizard of Oz? Yeah, sure. Toto. You, you remember Toto? Yeah. Toto was a weather wax dog. That's crazy. Man, guy made a living that off man, No, he had the best dogs in Hollywood. Oh, he wow. did, man. That's incredible. God, yeah. I, well, that, so this is stuff that I didn't even know, so that's good. Yeah, we just learned something here. <laughs> hey. This is, Give me hey, if you give me a call next week. <laughs> <laughs> I say, man, yeah. you're full of all kind of cool trivia. Yeah, there's a lot you've got to learn yet. Oh, uh, well, look here, John. Now, now you, you've done a lot of movies. You did the uh, Lassie uh, series, uh, and of course, that was during the uh, heyday of Hollywood, which I look at as being a very fortunate time uh, in in your life and all your buddies' lives, like Stan and Barry Livingston and Jay North and Jeannie Russell it and was. all of them. It was. Uh, who was your favorite uh, celebrity, big-time celebrity, to work with back in those days? You know, that's a very tough question. And the reason is, when I went to and I started so young, I grew up on a soundstage. So I would see everybody come in, big stars, little stars, come in in the morning looking like they just got out of bed, (laughs) going into the makeup room, sitting in the chair next to me, and becoming that actor, that person. Right. So to me, they were just doing the same thing I did. So I never really had, you know, like, oh my gosh, I got to meet this person or I got to meet that person. But I still was in awe. And when I was uh, just about 15 years old after Lassie, I quit Lassie when I was 14. um, I did a movie with Natalie Wood, Robert Redford called This Property is Condemned. 
and we filmed it in um, Biloxi, Mississippi, and and in um, Shreveport, Louisiana. And we spent three months down there in uh, '64, '65. And it must have been Natalie Wood. Oh yeah. Now man. I'm a young Ooh. boy. Oh my yeah. My hormones are my hormones <laughs> are running, and there's Natalie Wood. You know this, and she was a tiny little lady. You know, and I'm not a big guy. And wow. I know so, you're thinking. I'm sure thinking. I got a shot at this one. I got. She's my size. I got a <laughs> shot at this one. Well, that's cool. Man. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. So, I guess I'm. I guess that's going to have to be my choice. Well, there you go. Now, what about Kurt Russell? I know you did uh, what? Uh, uh, computer yeah, tennis we, shoes oh, yeah, or something. Did, yeah, that was my last movie um, before I decided to leave Hollywood. Was yeah. um, the computer wore tennis shoes? 1968. Yeah. I just turned 18, and you know, oh, Kurt was great. Everybody on that shoot. Oh, all the guys. They, you know. They, they were super, and we had a ball, but Deke and I screwed up because I did the one sh- that one movie, and I just turned 18, graduated high school, and like I said, I'd been working 15 years. I said, you know, I'm taking a break, so I decided to, to leave L.A. and go, go to college. Well, that was a stupid mistake because <laughs> they... Yeah, going okay, to college, yeah, stupid yeah, yeah. mistake. You, yeah. listen, you got it. They did two more computer movies, a total of three, and Bradley, my character, would have been in all three movies. Oh, man. That, yeah, there goes the money and, out the door. And, you know, working, working, working with all those guys and the ladies and, you know, being 18, 19, but... I decided, well, um, you know, I'm going to go away. But you know what? I made the right decision. So, well, you know. Yeah, you, yeah. Can, you only take so much. I mean, I, listen, I know. Listen, I, I'm not, uh, you know, I, I've done a little bit of acting myself, and, and I know exactly where you're coming from. You know, it gets to the point where it's like, oh, my gosh, man. You know, you I need to, I want to do know. something else, you know. Yeah. And, that, and then it's like, it's crazy. It's I just did a commercial a couple months ago for a large furniture uh, chain uh, down in Southern California. I saw that. Doing, did, yeah, doing some voiceovers. St- oh, and that was pretty funny how they did a, they shot it in black and white, and they did the takeoff on the Timmy and Lassie. I, that was pretty cool. Yeah. But, you know, you know, you you just keep doing stuff. You do voiceover. You do, you know, whatever. And it's like June Lockhart said to me, I mentioned the other day about June, and she mentioned to me when I was a kid on the show, that she goes, John, now you're a young boy. She goes, and I started in this business when I was a young girl. She said, now I'm a woman now, and someday you will be a man. And she said, so you will end up playing older parts. And I thought that was a pretty pretty good advice. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can't be Timmy when you're 69 years old. I mean, (laughs) <laughs> yeah, well, what what is it what is what does an actor do? I mean, you know, Deacon, you've been in the business for, you know, quite a few years, you know, you just you just keep playing those older parts and doing whatever and playing with the accent. Oh, oh, I got to tell you this one quick quick story. You know, I told you both my parents were from the south the other right? day. Right. Oh yeah. Well, when I was little, I couldn't read. So, when I was doing Lassie, Mom would read me my dialogue the night before, and I would memorize it. Wow. Problem was, Mom had a southern accent. So, <laughs> I would repeat the words like, you know, how y'all doing, <laughs> you know, all, all that kind of stuff. So, when I would go to work the next day, they'd go, whoa, whoa, wait a minute. <laughs> no, no. So they had to hire me a dialogue coach. <laughs> so I talked like a, you know, like a Midwestern person and not like a Southern person. <laughs> oh my gosh! Hey, look here, we're, we're, we're getting ready. Look, we want you to, we want to uh, call you back sometime and do uh, do another interview with you. Would that be cool? Yes, sir. All we right, can well, do that. Well, now, uh, right now, how can people, uh, you know, how are they going to find out where you are and say you're going to make any appearances uh, anywhere, or whatever? What about your book, uh, Timmy's in the Well? Uh, do you still sell okay, that? Okay, well, li- okay, well, he- li- here, here's my telephone number. Oh no, no, wait a minute, wait, no, 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 no. no. Okay, yeah. no, I, I, I have, a, I have, a, I have a website. Okay. And all it is, it's my name, 
J-O-N-P-R-O-V-O-S-T dot com. And people can go there, and, and kids can go there. It's safe. And there's a lot of great memories with Lassie and the movies. And there's a page there where they can go and find out, uh, you know, what autograph shows. You know, I do a lot of those. They call them Comic Cons now. Oh, yeah, yeah. sure, but, yeah. You know, they're all, yeah, we used to call them autograph shows. Well, it's the same kind of thing. So, you know, people know about those. And, we, you know, I go around with, the, you know, other people. And uh, we meet people and sign autographs and take photos and all that kind of fun stuff. So people can just go to johnprovost.com and find out everything there. No, oh, good, good. And they can still buy your book, right? I mean, it's still for sale. Oh, yeah, my book, yeah, they can, they can order it on Amazon or from a bookstore or if they want it signed, personally signed for me, they can just go to my webpage and get it there, and it's the same price. So Okay, what if I send you this book? You want to sign it for me? I've already bought the book. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah, you'll sign yes, it sir. for me? I got it at a yard yes, sale. Sir, I sure will. <laughs> I got it you cheap. got it. I got and, it and, cheap. And free of charge. And there's, <laughs> yeah, and there's dog hair on it. Go figure. <laughs> That's it's right. Oh, and if, well, if there isn't, I'll put some on there. <laughs> there you go, man. Hey, l- let me tell you something. Uh, uh, Jack and I really appreciate uh, this, John, uh, talking to you. No kidding, man. And uh, I'll be well, talking to some, some of your compadres here in the coming weeks, your old buddies uh, Stan and Barry and, of course, Jay and... And, uh, the rest of the gang. Oh, great! Well, I, I'm sure they'll be talking like about they you. Huh? Love those guys, and I bet they got some stories, some good ones too. Oh yeah, man! And John, and, and, John. And, well, you know when we, well, you said you were talking, going to talk to Stan and Barry. The, um, when we filmed Lassie at Desilu Studios, which was old RKO, and we were at the one at the north end of the studio, and my three sons was filming um, in a sound stage at the south end of the studio. Oh yeah, so we were on the same. Yeah, we were on the same lot. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. You guys are all raised together. Well, look here, we're yeah. gonna we've got to get out of here, but I want you to do me a favor. Give Laurie a hug for me, and uh, tell her I thank will. you again because uh, she, she's good for you, pal. I'll tell you that right now. Of yes. course, you know that, don't you? I, I sure do. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you, John Provost. We appreciate it. Okay. Good man. Timmy God bless. from Lassie. All right. All right, let's check out this video now from our friends at the Oaks on River Talk. All right.